Hey guys, this is Phase One once again with another video. Today I want to give you a status update on what's going on with Star Citizen Alpha 3.18 in the Wave 1 PTU. Just wanted to give you guys some of my thoughts and how the experience currently is and what are some of the things that they need to work on and uh, what are some of the wins that we have with this current patch right now. Before we move forward, I'd like to give a shout out to all my channel members and Patreon. Alright, and uh, without any further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so in regards to 318, um, some of the things that I've been, I've been streaming for the past couple of, of, of days uh, since the patch released. And uh, there's a few things, a few mechanics that I dove into with, with uh, the org itself and, and some of the community members. And um, the first one I wanted to discuss is the multi crew with uh, the Aegis Reclaimer when it comes to salvage gameplay. Now, I, I have to let you guys know that it's an amazing experience to finally have an activity to do in the PU whereby different people have different roles within a ship or within an operation and everybody is working together to achieve a common goal. The salvage mechanic um, when it comes to um, piloting the ship, when it comes to running the turrets, when it comes to security, when it comes to um, the cargo management that's also happening in the salvage area is is phenomenal the fact that we can get a, whole, a group of guys within one ship to work together to salvage and make money and make sure that we're also safe um while doing it is is an amazing experience and i'm, I'm really excited for how this is going to look in the future okay so to my current experience um with it is um i think if you really want to efficiently operate a reclaimer you're looking at about five to six people to fully operate and uh, efficiently operate a reclaim okay so we also um dove into some of the new derelict outpost uh, missions um we did uh go to the ones on daymar i know there's a couple on daymar i think we've been to maybe one or two uh thus far that i've seen and um i'm not gonna lie the it has a lot of potential when it comes to if the ai works right if the ai works and the ai is actually challenging us it's it's really exciting to be able to infiltrate and an outpost like that with AI defending it, especially with the um, reinforcements with the cut is okay. So if it works, it's phenomenal. It's a phenomenal experience, and uh, the fact that you can loot the bodies, the, the bodies actually have some decent um, loot within the dead bodies of the AI. If you look into the uh, torso, look into the legs, um, they all have compartments. Okay, so make sure to check those right so what i would like them to do is to add a few more loot boxes a few more things to to really um um add more uh, excitement into infiltrating a, a, a an outpost or a base and and possibly finding something really cool i really like the idea of that so the, I, I think a few a little bit a little bit more loot boxes being there will also be pretty good okay so we also um had an opportunity to touch upon the platform missions at orison and it has a lot of potential to be really good it's it seems like it's a little um just a, a small subset of uh siege of orison and it's it's uh it has a lot of potential what what they missed out on is the opportunity um these platforms are large right so when we get the mission you have to tr once you get to the platform you have to travel to the objective location and sometimes it's all the way across from um from where you land on a landing pad all the way to the objective it's you have to cross the entire platform it takes a while and what we noticed is the environment is great and everything but there's no npc ai is challenging us as we approach the objective so i think cig needs to add a few ais there at least some snipers if a few uh guys that will push us as we approach the objective before we have to actually go there and eliminate those ones also over there to make it a little bit more challenging to add some more excitement and a few loot boxes here and there as well is also would also make it really good okay so uh so that's um what um i like about that um so when it comes to the buggy track it's phenomenal it's really fun if you want to get together and do something new it's really fun um to actually get out there and do the buggy track on Orison. all right make sure to go check it out i think it's it's at the vision center so if you know how to get to it that's where it is okay so 
um just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what we've done so far we're gonna get into other gameplay as well in the future and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already i'll be doing more updates like this on new gameplay that we do check out all right i will see you on the next one